is incredibly scary. Okay, we're backing up. We're backing up. Oh yeah, those chilling moments happened live on air on Fox 46 last November. The destructive flooding at the Hidnight Campground in Alexander County took five lives. And communities in Mecklenburg County also flooded on that same day. And millions of dollars in damages were saved thanks to the city and the county's flood mitigation program. A meteorologist, Alisa Rafa, is live right now near Little Sugar Creek. Yeah, and at least of those programs, they're expected to help residents receive new benefits starting this month. Yes, starting October 1, FEMA is applauding Charlotte, saying, hey, you guys are one of the best in the nation at flood mitigation. So that means a 35% discount for you for your flood insurance because Little Sugar Creek, I mean, it's gorgeous on a day like today, just so stunning. But one heavy rain event, this thing will rise up over the rocks, rise up behind us into the streets. So that's why the city really needs to get down and dirty with that flood mitigation. I spoke to them, plus a hydraulic expert. Take a look. A little sugar creek definitely fills up a good bit. And sometimes it overflows. Arthur Knoll's neighbor had to kayak through floodwaters last November. The water got up into his basement. Tropical moisture dropped over four and a half inches of rain in just a few hours, making it the wettest November day on record in Charlotte. This street behind us, uh, it went up a couple of houses. Rob Weller has lived in the floodplain near the Park Road Shopping Center since 2012 and has flood insurance. All the new houses that are being built are raised up high enough where they didn't have any damage at all. Some of them have been uh, torn down and raised up a little bit. Some of them have flood vents through them, and so their risk scores start to go down. John Wendell is with Charlotte Mecklenburg Stormwater Services. Any place it rains can flood. He tells us that plant prevention improve your mapping, improve your, your alerts to improve your communication with the public. Gives the city some brownie points from FEMA called a CRS or a community rating system. They reward um, the folks and communities by uh, giving them the lower flood insurance costs. Which means a cheaper rate for you. The new 35% discount on flood insurance will save Charlottetians $1 million annually. Huntersville, Pineville, and unincorporated Mecklenburg County get a 25% discount. All of these empty lots behind me used to have standing homes on them that flooded all the time. The county's buyout program got them out right before that November 2020 flooding. That was pretty devastating for a lot of the area. Well, this area did wind up flooding last year. All of that water from Little Sugar Creek came running down this block. In that event alone, the city and county avoided $9 million of damage from the buyout program is incredibly scary. Okay, we're backing up. We're back. And when there is climate change or more extreme precipitation, this problem gets even worse. Dr. Antonia Sebastian is a hydraulic engineer at UNC Chapel Hill. Her research shows that floodplains are getting wider thanks to more rain and more concrete. You have the compounding effects of both higher levels or higher rates of precipitation landing on top of less spongy material. And so that water runs off in even greater volumes. Flash flooding is becoming an increasing threat. Since 1950, Charlotte has seen many more one and two inch deluge days as more rain is coming down at once. That means everyone, even those outside of the floodplain, are at risk. The FEMA floodplain, like, represents some types of flooding, but it doesn't represent all types of flooding. Like it represents the flooding that comes from the river or comes from the coast, but it doesn't represent the flooding that comes because you got a heavy rainfall event in an urban area. Dr. Sebastian recognizes while we need floodplain lines to lay out higher risk areas and more expensive insurance rates. The disconnect between, you know, what the scientists and the engineers understand what the policy is and what the community understands. Like, that's just a, a big gap. Knowledge needs to spread to the other side of that line to help close the gap. So it's a constant battle, but we're doing a pretty good job. Of it. Ranked one of the best in the nation, Charlotte is working to close these gaps. Incentivizing prevention is why FEMA's CRS program was born. The technology to map the floodplain is getting so much better. I mean, aerial uh, technology, planes flying over and, and, and using radar. And better planning gets homeowners out of the high-risk floodplains before the rain even falls. We've bought out more than 450 homes already since the, the program started, and there's probably 15 
hundred more homes that could possibly uh, be bought out. And while we can look back at the empty lots, we also need to look ahead to the future. We're looking at climate change and regulations and building in the floodplain and making it more uh, 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 resilient. Resilient, right? That's that key word. And to be resilient, like they said, you can't just worry about the rivers and the creeks with that heavy rain coming and the um, expanding floodplains. We have to worry about the way our streets are set up, sewer systems, a lot of our infrastructure not built for the rain of tomorrow. It was built for the rain of yesterday. For now, reporting live in Little Sugar Creek, meteorologist Elisa Rapa, Box 46.